you giving, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in the business What's up, y'all? What's going on? Hey, what's happening? What's cracking? What's going on? Hey, what's happening? What's cracking? Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Nefertiti here, and if you guys are new to my channel, um, my name is Nefertiti. Some people call me Nefi. Welcome. Come on in, boo-boos. Come on in. Join. All right, y'all. Do y'all like my hair? I did it myself. It's a crochet, though. Like, I did crochets, but it's 30 inches. Woo! Hey! How you think you play? Whoa, woo, hey, hey. Y'all don't have nowhere to go. I'm just sitting here at my car. And I said, what better thing to do than to make a YouTube video? And y'all, it's funny because this is the second take. Okay? I literally just made a video. And y'all know when I be doing these little speech videos, they're not always that short. Okay? So anyways, I was like, you know, I've been thinking, I've been pondering on this one topic I've been wanting to talk about. And I've been wanting to talk about intentions. And I think this is a really good topic to talk about. I feel like um, maybe a lot of times we don't check ourselves enough because we always want to point the finger. But we have to remember that when we point one finger at somebody, three is pointing back at us. So we really have to check ourselves, you know, before we check other people. But what I'm saying about intentions is, what are your intentions? Okay, for example, say for instance... You see a new family. They just, they, just, they just moved on the block, right? And you like, you know, they fly. They real fly. They got nice cars. They got nice clothes. You feel me? They fly. They always dress nice. And you like, oh, hold up. <laughs> I'm finna become their friend. I'm finna become their friend. We want to be friends. We want to be, you know what I'm saying? We want to befriend them. So are you befriending them because you really want to be their friend and you want them to feel welcome to the neighborhood and you, you don't want them to feel, you know, weird? Or are you befriending them because they have nice things that you like? Because you like that car and you want to ride in it, or you want to, uh, you like them clothes. And you want to wonder, how, and you wondering how they got them outfits and how they got all that money or whatever they got. You want to get it too. So, what are your intentions when you are befriending people? What are your intentions whenever you're having a conversation? Okay, so say for instance, you're like, you know what, I'm gonna call so and so. What are your intentions? So, are you calling so and so because? You heard about what happened last night and you trying to get the juice on they on their information or are you calling so and so cuz you truly want to see how they're doing? What are your intentions? Too many times we don't check ourselves. I think we are so used to being in our own little rut, being our own little type of way that we just feel like we the top notch and ain't nobody out there better than us and can nobody touch us and you know what I'm saying we untouchable and our stuff don't stink. Everybody stinks sometimes. Everybody if you dookie, you stink before. I'm just saying, if you dookie before, you stink and everybody poops, so everybody stink. I'm just saying. So anyways, you know, we need, we need to really reflect, like, what, why are we doing certain things? What was our intentions when we did that? Okay, for example, if you get a job, what is your intentions when you get that job? Are you getting that job just to make money because you're trying to save up to go somewhere? Are you trying to get that job because you want to grow in that company? Are you trying to get that job because everybody else said you should get that job? Are you trying to get that job because they make good money? What are your intentions? Why are you really doing it? Okay? You know, and a lot of times I just feel like we go by what people say and we go by what statistics say and we don't really do what we want to do. We just do what we think we should be doing so. Are we really doing it for us? Are we really doing it because it's the best choice to make? Or are we doing it to please other people? Like, you know, so what are our intentions? You know, especially with giving. That's a big thing. Let me teach y'all something about giving. If you give to somebody, do not expect it back. Let me say that again. If you give to somebody, do not expect it back. The whole point of giving is to give from your heart. You're giving because you want to give something away. You're giving because you're doing something nice for somebody. You know what I mean? So, okay. Say, for instance, you met somebody, right? And, you know, they don't have as much. They have, like, maybe one pair of shoes. The shoes are real ripped up. And, you know, they don't have a lot of clothes. Like, you've been seeing them wear the same clothes all week. And, you know, so you have a whole bunch of clothes in your closet. And you have a whole bunch of shoes in your closet. And you're like, I don't even wear half of this stuff. So, you know, let me just go ahead 
and go give this to somebody, you know, that needs it. So you finally find somebody that needs it and you give away some stuff. So did you give it away because you truly felt bad for them and you truly wanted them to have more? Or are you giving it away because you want to look good? Or because you want praise from other people? Or because you want someone to give you a pat on the back? What's your intentions? You know what I mean? So we have to, like, really think about where our heart is when we say things. We have to think about where our heart is when we do things. Another thing I want to say, too, about intentions is, what are your intentions when you're having conversations with certain people, right? And you know you want to be honest with them. And you, you're trying to be straightforward, but instead... You say it in a joking way. Like, no, what's your intentions? Keep it real. Like, are you saying it in a joking way because you don't want to have no confrontation? Or you say it in a joking way because, you know, you really want to get the truth out, but you want to seem like you're playing. Like, you know, what's that's confusing. Keep it real. How do you really feel? What's, what was your intentions when you said it to me? Like, are you really joking? Or is there something that you want to get? Do you want to get your point across in some type of way? What are your intentions? So another thing... Um, that goes with hand in hand with intentions is being intentional. Being intentional, I'm learning as I grow that being intentional is so important because being intentional helps you get to the, to the destination that you want to go to. Being intentional helps you get um, to do the things that you desire to do. What you know, be intentional. Okay, so like earlier, I talked about when you get a job. What are your intentions when you get get that job? Okay, when you are looking for a job, be intentional. What type of job do you want? What kind of career are you going for? If you're going for a career in medical, you know, then look for medical jobs. If you're going for a career in business, then look for business-oriented jobs. Be intentional. So if you're looking for, okay, say, for instance, you want a career in medical, but you are applying at the gas station. So you're kind of like low-balling yourself, you know. You're not really aiming towards where you're trying to get. You know, wherever you're trying to get, you want to stay in that field. Be intentional, okay? For those of you who want to lose weight. Me too. I do too. I, you know, I need to. I have a not not trying to be nasty, but my upper body. I have a bigger chest, so it makes me look big automatically. And even though, like, if y'all really see me in person, like, if you seen how my waist, like, I have a small stomach, but like, my boot, my chest is just bigger. If you want to lose weight, right, you have to be intentional. So if you are serious about losing weight, that means you have to be careful with what you eat. You have to be careful. Um, with how many snacks you intake, you know, and you have to be active. You have to be willing to work out. You have to be consistent. You have to do, you know, you have to at least work out three to seven days a week. So that way you can see results. And the best way to re to see results is to be, um, is to eat healthy. For example, just a minute ago, you know, I ate a little small Milky Way when I have all this fruit in the refrigerator. And that's what I really desire to eat. And I know that Trying to change my snack habit is way better so that way I can get to the destination I want to get to when it comes to my weight, so I can get to my goal weight. But instead, I ate, you know, a chocolate Milky Way. So what were my intentionals? Was I being very intentional? No. If I really want to lose the weight that I want to lose, I'm going to have to buckle down and eat healthier. That's just what it is, you know? So be intentional about your relationships with your friendships. Be intentional about your relationships in your family. Be intentional. When I say intentional, don't just go with the flow. What do you want out of that relationship? What do you want out of that friendship? What do you want out of that career? What do you want out of it? Um, once you know what you want out of it, go for it. You know, take the necessary steps to get there. Understand that everything can't be microwaved and it's not going to happen overnight. But, you know, be intentional. You know, if you want to be Famous on the internet, be intentional. How do you want to represent yourself? Are you just trying to go viral so you do whatever you think people like because you want to go viral? Or do you want to do it and be remembered in a good way? You know, so you have to remember the internet is the internet. People will, will remember the things that you do because it's already on the internet. So as you grow in your career and on the internet, and you maybe overcome, stop doing like crazy things you used to do, and you no longer do that because you're already famous, but you're remembered, a, you know, you, people remember you a certain way. So are you willing to um, sacrifice your morals? Are you willing to sacrifice what you believe in just to get views, just to get subscribers, just to get likes, just to get um, followers? Or, you know, 
do you want to do it in a way where you know it's honest where you know you really it's organic you really grow you know you grinded for this this is not someone didn't give this to you you didn't out here just making crazy videos just to get views now some people do that because you know you never know what goes viral yeah, just keep it real like you never know what goes viral you can do something funny you can say something funny and not even intend to but it's like what i'm saying is some people will like exploit themselves some people will expose themselves some people will do the craziest thing like to themselves just to go viral so like remember that whenever you're famous on the internet automatically you're an influencer off rip once you be once you become known on the internet, once people know you, you're all, you're already an influencer. Even if you don't want to be, you be like, ah, don't watch what I do. Don't pay the we watch it, boo. Don't do what I do. Well, listen, a lot of kids are gonna do what you do. A lot of people are gonna do what you do because they be like, oh well, this person's cool. This person got style. They're doing this, so I'm gonna do it. You know, people do follow. So do keep in mind that if you want to be a um, you want to be famous or if you want to get big on the internet or whatever the case may be is that people are watching you like you know they are watching you and um I, our generation i'm 25 years old the the generation under us like you know like the 10 year olds the 12 year olds the 15 year olds they're, they're looking at us so you know how do you want to represent yourself be intentional with everything you do um we have to move with purpose and i just want y'all to know i am not perfect so far from it like a lot of times when I do these motivational videos it's not just for y'all it's for me too I just have topics that I put that be on my heart or like uh, somebody will give to me but it'd be like we all going through it but I think we all need to have a reality check I think we should all check ourselves especially when we ready to check somebody else we should always check ourselves first but um I hope y'all got something out of that I hope that you know y'all learned something I know sometimes I tend to ramble, but I do think there was some very valuable points in there. So I do hope that you guys take it and run with it. If it's in your heart, go ahead and share this video. Hey, if you didn't already do it, you already know what was coming. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Do it right now. No, I'm not even getting off the camera to you. Do it right now. Do it right now. That's right. I'm bullying you. That's right. That's right. I said it. Do it right now. It's like, no, I'm not going to bully y'all. If y'all want to do it, go ahead. Sure. Yeah, I can. Um, be sure to follow me on all my social medias. And if you guys didn't already see the video that I made uh, with my friends, we did a mukbang. We ate some fried chicken and everything. Make sure y'all watch it. It was really good. Sorry the quality wasn't that good. Like, the lighting was okay. But, like, um, my camera... I mean, like, when I tried to upload it, it wouldn't let me upload a certain quality because it was saying I didn't have enough room on my phone. I tried to make room. It wouldn't let me. So I had to upload it in the lower quality so please forgive me uh bear with me you know i'm getting there um yeah just make sure y'all stay tuned y'all because i have so much coming for y'all i have a, a lot coming i really do and i want to start doing skits and i kind of refrain from that because i'm just, like a little too dramatic sometimes but i'm like i still want to try it because i got so many ideas so make sure y'all stay tuned y'all we're gonna blow up hey we're gonna blow up hey we're gonna blow up hey we're gonna blow up but y'all, I'm not doing this just to become famous or not like that. I definitely want to make a bigger platform, but I um I love making videos, so stay tuned. Love y'all. Keep your head up. Make sure you keep God first and never give up. God bless y'all.